of other things, but why not just say what positive is? What is positive? Which is? What's C plus? Good. Let's just, just, just write down a set. Okay. So in Z, we're going to say an integer. Um, we'll say, uh, um, okay, I'll write this. M is less than N if N minus M is positive. That's correct definition. And what positive means is, i.e., i.e. just means, in other words, in the set, one, two, three, four, five, dot, dot, dot. Okay, just, we'll just declare those creatures to be the positive ones. Okay, you can't stop me from doing that. Okay, just try, just try. <laughs> okay, here we go. Good, so this is Z. This is uh, what we mean by uh, positive, and this is what we mean by one is less than the other. How do you think we're going to do this in Q? How do you think we're going to do this in Q? By the way, there are many other notions of order you could consider, right? I mean, I, we just gave one, but there are lots of other ways to order the integers. Um, and you might enjoy thinking about how you might do that. Um, you're going to explore some notions of order on your homework, not today, this week's homework, but next week's homework. Um, there's a, a notion of uh, dictionary order, so maybe I'll just do this as an example. In Z cross Z, these are ordered pairs of integers. We can declare AB to be less than CD uh, uh, if something is true. Well, let's see. So the dictionary order says, in, uh, first you check the first element, and then you check the second. Okay, so uh, we'll say that A, B is uh, less than C, D if A is less than C, or if uh, A equals C and B is less than D. So if one of these conditions is true, and this is another a notion of an order, it's called the dictionary order for obvious reasons. Everybody with me? I guess this is not a state sentence, it's just a, a statement about what we call this order. Bonnie. Ooh, excellent question. Well, how would we answer that question? We don't know what the complex numbers are yet, but for those who perhaps do, <laughs> what, uh, would this dictionary order work for the complex numbers? Well, first of all, does it satisfy this trichotomy relation? Sure. Uh, d is it transitive? No? What would keep it from being transitive? You're just checking dictionary order. There's no reason it's not transitive, right? So it, it, would, it would work for the complex numbers as well. I mean, if you're thinking complex numbers as pairs of reals, right? So in fact, your homework do you ask, asks you to think about this, okay? It's an order. Okay, uh, good. What about Q then? What will we say about Q? How will I define an order on the rationals? Well, how about doing something very similar? So um, we're going to say m over n is positive. If we, we probably so by similar we mean we probably should say what we mean by positive, and then we'll say one fraction is less than another fraction if this one minus this one is positive. 
So how can we define positive? Yes. Mm -hmm. Oh, yes, excellent question. The question was, uh, do we know how to subtract two rational numbers? Uh, we, will def we, we will define uh, subtraction as adding the negative of, where negative is multiplying by minus one. And so we know how to multiply two uh, rationals. And we will associate to minus one the rational minus one over one and perform the multiplication that way. Yeah, I won't do that out, but we'll assume we're going to do that in the, in the natural way. So in particular, what that means is anytime you have a rational, uh, if you want to subtract two rationals, that's the same as adding minus c over d and just treat minus c as an integer. We know how to multiply negative numbers that are integers. Okay, excellent question. So how would you help me define a fraction as being positive? Just use your intuition. Yes, tell me your name. Uh, Drew. Drew. Okay, so uh, look at MN and ask, uh, and say this is positive if MN what? Good. This is another way of saying positive because MN minus zero is in that set. Okay, but we, we know what this means for Z already. Okay, great. Uh, w there is a little bit of a concern here, though, that we didn't have when we were talking about the integers. We just made a definition involving the rationals. We've just made a definition. What's, a, what's one thing you should worry about when you make a definition about a bunch of equivalence classes? Good. You should always you should train yourself to thinking. Every, you know, if I have some object that's a bunch of equivalence classes, uh, is it well defined? And uh, I'll let you check this. It's a well defined definition. Uh, we'll do this without writing it. What do I have to do to check that it's well defined? Well, you give me another fraction that's in the same equivalence class. Let's say p over q. If m times n is bigger than 0, is p times q bigger than 0? Well, we know p n equals q m. That's, a, that's the uh, condition. And if m times n is bigger than 0, you can check that p times q will, in fact, be bigger than 0. Involves a little bit of work, but check that you can do it. Okay? Th these are some of the things you might do as you, when you go home and review the notes to check your understanding. It is well-defined. OK, good. And then say mn is bigger than m prime, oops, less than m prime n prime if uh, m prime n over n prime minus m over n is positive. Positive. Sorry, I've got to say it. Let's do this here. OK, good. So. Um, uh, we're being very careful at first uh, to define these rationals, but once we have these condition, uh, these properties, we'll just start using them without worrying about um, going back to ordered pairs. Let me mention, we sometimes write this symbol, y is bigger than x, that's the symbol we use, uh, for x less than y. I'm already using the, the words less than and greater than to, th to think about these symbols because they come from our uh, notion of order that we're, we've grown up with. And we'll also write, sometimes we'll write uh, x less than or equal to y. Notice the, the line below the less than symbol to mean, um, what does this mean? OK, or x is less than y, or x equals y. Law of trichotomy would make it equivalent to what 